You are watching episode 7 of the Produce Picker Podcast. I'm your host Ray, the Produce Picker. This episode, how to open a pomegranate. Before we start, let me welcome you back to another episode of the Produce Picker Podcast. I'd also like to apologize that it's been so long since the last episode, but with the holidays upon us, which also includes a birthday for me, that meant a pretty hectic schedule. But I'm back now, and speaking of the holidays, let's learn how to open an increasingly popular holiday fruit, the pomegranate. I've put a towel down on my cutting board to help prevent staining the board. The juice of the pomegranate will stain pretty much anything it touches, so you might want to take precautions to protect your clothing and your work area. you want to begin by removing the crown or top of the pomegranate. Move on to the bottom and do the same. Next, score the sides of the pomegranate by taking your knife and pressing it into the tough skin of the pomegranate. Notice that you only need to cut deep enough to get through the red outer lining of the pomegranate until you hit the pith or white part just underneath the red exterior. You'll be making four cuts or scores into the pomegranate, one on each side extending from the top to the bottom of the pomegranate. Grab a large sized bowl and fill it with water. You'll be pulling the pomegranate apart and taking out its seeds underwater. Using this method allows for separation between the pith and the pomegranate seeds. It also produces less mess. Now let's begin pulling apart the pomegranate and getting to our ultimate goal, the delicious seeds. Place your pomegranate into the bowl you just filled with water, trying to work as much as you can underneath the surface of the water to limit the amount of juice that will inevitably squirt from the pomegranate staining anything and everything around you. Break the pomegranate into four sections, pulling apart these sections along the cuts you made earlier in the pomegranate skin. These sections should come apart relatively easy and just allow them to float in the bowl until you're ready to separate the seeds from the pit. Now simply begin pulling the skin and pith away from the seeds of the pomegranate. The seeds will sink to the bottom while the pith will float to the top. Do this for all four sections until all or most of the seeds have been separated from the pomegranate. Next, simply remove the pith that is floating on top of the water, either by hand or with a strainer of some sort. I recommend using a mesh strainer like the one pictured here in order to get as much of the pith out of the water as possible. It's also easy with the handle to get the small strainer into the bowl and recover all the pith. I didn't have one handy at the time of filming and you notice I leave a few pieces remaining on top. We can simply remove these after the water has been drained. Empty the bowl of water and seeds into a larger strainer or colander with small holes. Take out any remaining pieces of pith that still remain amongst the seeds. All that's left is to transfer the pomegranate seeds to whichever type of container you like, and of course, a taste test. Yep, fresh pomegranate seeds are the way to go. It's worth a small amount of time and effort. Try your hand with this technique and live a healthier life with the antioxidant power of delicious pomegranate seeds and juice. You've been watching another episode of the Produce Picker Podcast. Remember to check out ProducePicker.com for many more great tips.